Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, come join us, amen? Either by audio, video, or just come visit, amen? A uh, place where uh, we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia de Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all visitors, and all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Don't let him go. Just say, I, you got something for me, and I ain't letting go. Give it to me. Amen. He's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. Amen. That's the world for you. That's it. But they all are good for you. Amen. So yeah. praise God. Be, make yourself available. Be ready and know that you can do all things through God who strengthens yeah. you. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves. Here we go. We're on go. So you get yourself on go. And we're going to make this declaration together. So grab your Bible, soldier of God. Amen. And yes. say it like you mean it. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Grab that Bible. You know, dust it off. <laughs> Pick it up and say this with me. Amen. So this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what he says I am. I have what he says I have. I can do what he says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Man, you can say that on a daily basis, you know. I'm not going to be the same. Amen. I'm maturing. I'm growing. You know, that's a good word. We're maturing in the things of God. Yes. We're growing in Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. You don't want to be a baby Christian all your life. No, Amen. No. And have the devil uh, chasing you every which way. You know? <laughs> we want to put him on the run. Says, yes. submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Yes. And he will flee from you. He ain't going to flee from you unless the word of God is coming out of you. That's it. That's he ain't going to flee from you unless you use that authority given That's to right. you. That's Amen. Right. So let's remember that he did his part we got to do our part that's it and our part is not just to be lazy that's and it. comfy mm -hmm. and kicking back you know that's our right. part is to study to show yourself approved unto god amen. Amen. amen i have a few nuggets for you before we uh before we get started amen, amen. the bible says in psalms 118 24 you know as a matter of fact yes. open your bibles there yeah psalms 118 24 amen. amen go ahead and yes. find it Psalms 118 and verse 24 that says, This is the day which the Lord hath made. We, I, will rejoice yes. and be glad in it. You know what? Amen. <laughs> it is thundering and lightning outside. It is raining outside. But you know what? That's not going to dictate how I'm going to spend my day. That's it. That's Amen. It. The word of God tells me, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of the situation, uh -huh. I am going to rejoice in and be glad in it. Why? Because the greater one is in me. Amen. And the greater one should be in you. If you have the greater one in you, you're going to be rejoicing. You're going to be glad. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, that Goliath upsets uh, David's day? Mm -hmm. No. You know, he saw the giant. When you see giants daily, you know, hey, bring them to me. I'm running to him. He said, David ran to the giant. That's it. That's and we could be doing the same thing. You know, yeah. ain't no giant out there bigger than my God. Uh -huh. Ain't no mountain out there bigger than my, my, my God. It. Amen. It. Know who you are and who you are. Come on now. <laughs> Hallelujah. We won't keep you long. I know you're going to say a big amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> we'll keep you short for a short time here. Yeah. But anyway, this little nugget I want to read to you is uh, off of uh, Psalms 118, 24. It says, it's a new day. Today yeah. Is a new blessing from God. Yes. Let yesterday's failures, let yesterday's uh, pains, mm -hmm. uh, not ruin the beauty of this new day. Mm -hmm. Give thanks and be grateful. Every day has its own promises of love, of hope, of peace, of success, of joy, of strength, and many, many, many more blessings. Amen. Amen. From our God, it is a new day. So rejoice and be glad in it, mm -hmm. and don't forget to give thanks. Yes. In all things, give thanks. Amen. 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 So praise God, man. That was a nugget. Amen. If you don't take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Amen. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but we gotta get ourselves excited. We gotta get ourselves stirred up. Amen. You know, we stir ourselves up for the world so easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we can't store ourselves up for God. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Woo. Man, don't shut me off, man, because I'm preaching good. Now. Right. <laughs> we got to get excited for God, you yes, know? I mean, how are people going to know? We're going to be talking about this in a few yeah. minutes, but 
You're going to let the joy of the Lord strengthen you. You're going to let the people see the joy of the Lord coming wow. through you and wow. say, wow, man, how can that person be so joyful in this dark world? Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because the greater one is right. in us. Amen? Yes. And that light's going to shine. And we're going to be talking about let yeah. your light shine. Amen? Amen. So praise let's God. praise God. Anyway, before I say all that, I want to say... Uh, happy anniversary to NBC. We celebrate our 10th year. This is our, our month. July is our month. We celebrate our 10 years. Pastor Suzanne Patricia, we want to say thank you to everyone. Thank you for your love, your prayers, your encouragement, and your support. Amen. We're excited for the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And we're believing that God has great plans Amen. and blessings for us. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Woo. Praise God. I am ready. Are you ready? Yes, Lord. <laughs> Let your light shine. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Let your light shine. And we've taught uh, children's church for like 20, 30 years, you know. And this is one of our favorite songs. This little light of mine, <laughs> I'm going to let it shine. And we need to say that on a daily basis. Amen. And you know, the Bible says we're children of God. So as children of God, let your little light shine for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Let your light shine, says you are God's instrument to bring light into this dark world. And this yeah. world is dark. Yeah. This world is negative. Yeah. This world is just doom and gloom, you know? Mm -hmm. Except for us. We got to bring that light. We got to bring that joy. We got to bring Jesus into the Amen. lost world. Amen? That dark world. Now, open your Bibles. That's going to be one of our texts. Of course, the Gospels talk about this. But uh, Matthew... Chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. I'll read it to you from King James Emperor from the uh, Amplified. Amen. So, uh, book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yes. Amen. Uh, 14 says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be head. That's it. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all who are in the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. People can see it. We can see it. It helps us. Yes. Um, so verse 16 says, let your light so shine, shine before men. Amen. Shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Amen. So don't be ashamed. He says, you're ashamed of me and I'll be ashamed of you. And the uh, King James, or the, excuse me, the Amplified says, you are light of Christ mm -hmm. to the world. You are the light mm -hmm. of Christ okay. to the world. Man, you gotta, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta get this, okay? You are the light of Christ to the world and we're talking about world meaning people for God so loved the world God so loved people that he sacrificed his only son yeah a city sitteth on a hill cannot be hidden nor does anyone light a, a lamp and put it under a basket but on a lampstand and it gives light to all who are in the house Amen. let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good deeds and more excellence and recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Yes. Amen. Lord, I'm doing yes. this unto you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm not trying to do it for myself. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm doing it unto him. And Amen. when people say, you know, I, I am, and we're going to be talking about this scripture. But in Ephesians 5, mm -hmm. verses 1 and 2, it talks about being imitators of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You know, we are real good at imitating the world. We're real good at imitating our, our superstars, you know, imitating whoever. But, you know, the Bible tells us to imitate, be imitators of God. Amen. 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 Your heavenly father. So if you don't know the world, you're going you're gonna to follow the world and you're going to copy and try to imitate right. the world. Right. But if you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. You've got your word for you. Amen. Amen. If you haven't read it, it's time to read it. Just go to Amen. Ephesians chapter 5, yeah. verses uh, 1 and 2. Yeah. Amen. And we'll read it here in a few minutes. Woo, hallelujah. Now the book of John talks about it too. The book of John chapter 8, verse 12 mm -hmm. says, Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the yes. world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light, the light of life. 
Amen. 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 Jesus is the light of the world. Those who follow him have their path mm -hmm. illuminated. And here's a here's a few words for illumination. Mm. Brighten, well lit, lit up, and flood lit. You know, flood lit, it means illuminated with floodlights. You know, when you go to a football game, man, their floodlights are on, man. You can see everything on the field. If that those floodlights weren't on, you couldn't see. It wouldn't be worth going to the game. But when the floodlights are on, you can see everything you come yeah. to see. Amen. So you let your light shine for God, just like a floodlight. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Woo, come Amen. on. <laughs> Follow Christ and you will walk. You will not walk in darkness, That's but it. will have the light of life. I yeah. want the light of life in me. Amen. I want people to see that. It allows those who follow Jesus to see the path yes. they are taking. Amen. Amen. And we need the word. You know, when you get in the word, you see it. It's going to show you the way. It's going to lighten up the path mm -hmm. to where God has called you to be. Yes. Amen. Amen. They never stray from the path of righteousness. Even though the world throws all kinds of distractions your way, mm -hmm. it will not. you will not stray from it. it. Amen. You're going to stay, you know. And our greatest example is who Christ. Mm -hmm. He came. Jesus. He knew he was going to be sacrificed, yeah. and it, it didn't change his way. That's it. He said, Lord, Father, he says, I, I'm going to fulfill what, what, what you call me to be, mm -hmm. and we need to do the same. Lord, here I am. Use me, and I'm going to fulfill, and I'm going to uh, do what you've called me to, to, to be and do. Amen? And we can, yeah. we can do it because he showed us it could be done. He could have yeah. been straight away if he wanted to and say, I like heaven more than I like this world. Uh -huh. Get me out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. You know, these mm -hmm. people are hateful, ugly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we still got them kind of people today. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. People are yeah. rude. They're ugly. They're killing each other, you know. Mm -hmm. They're doing all kinds of things to each other. Yeah. But, you know, we got to be that light. Mm -hmm. We got to be yeah. the love of, the love and compassion of Christ. Amen. That's what you see them through is his love and yes. compassion. Those eyes. Amen. Amen. Woo, they'll never stray. But... Walk away from Christ and you will, your path becomes darker and more dangerous and you won't be able to see where you're going. Mm -hmm. Amen. I told you about my bumper sticker on my truck. It says, you know what, church? Uh -huh. It's hell out there without yeah. Christ. Yeah. If you don't know that, if you never heard that, mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, it's yeah. hell out there without Christ. That's it. That's it. I don't know about you, but if you don't have Christ in your life, this is the time to mm -hmm. say, you know, I've done it my way all this time. Mm -hmm. And man, things are getting worse and things are getting uglier, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's time to do it God's way. When you do yeah. it God's way, man, you're going to have victory. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Your testimonies, I mean, your test will be a testimony. testimony right. Amen. So praise God, and you're going to have victories. Yeah. Woo, prace God. So here we go again. Luke, in the book of Luke, it talks again about being the light. Mm -hmm. Luke uh, chapter 11, verses 33 through 36, New King James. It says, No one. When he has lit a lamp, puts it under a secret place yes, yes. or under a basket, but on a lampstand, that mm. those who come in may see the light. Amen. The lamp of the body is the eye. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when the eye is good, the whole body also is full of light. Yes. But when your eye is bad, the whole body is full of darkness. Yes, yes. Therefore, take heed mm -hmm. that the light which is in you is not darkness. That's it. Yeah. If then your whole body is full of light. Mm. It says if then your body with a uh, whole body is full of light, have no part of darkness. The mm. whole body will be full of light. As when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. Amen. Well let me ask you this question. <laughs> is your lamp or your light uh, lighting uh, shining for him? Mm. Is your light shining for him if it's not you know it's time to do it yes. it's time to get get that lamp going you know say don't let the flame go out you know don't let the fire go out mm -hmm. you know it just takes one little spark to get it going right. again right. you know and the bible tells us to uh stir ourselves up yes, yes uh, it also does. tells us to study yeah. we got to do our parts you know mm -hmm. if, if, if you don't do your part, mm -hmm. ain't nothing going to happen. That's right. You know, you just want to be lazy. You want to mm -hmm. have excuses for each and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that ain't going to help. Again, Christ, our greatest example. Yes. He stepped 
every day he stepped out in faith amen and you knew he was going to be sacrificed mm -hmm. amen we we we're not even close to being sacrificed, no. but we're still being too lazy. Mm. We don't want to follow. We don't want to do anything. Mm. You know, hey, <laughs> I'd rather sleep than go anywhere else. <laughs> you know, I'd rather rest. You know, mm. let somebody else do it. Mm. Well, Jesus could have said the same thing, yes. but, but he didn't. Yes. Amen. So thank you, Jesus. Yes. Be grateful. <laughs> have an attitude of gratitude. If you're going to get an attitude, get the right attitude. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so remember. This little light of mine or this light of mine, I'm going to let it, let shine. it shine. Are you going to let it shine or are you going to put it under a basket? Mm. Here's the thing is, it's your choice. Yeah. That's it. God knows. He knows the worst about you and loves you the most. That's are it. you letting your light shine or are you just putting it under a basket, mm. you know, and, and hide it every time you're around your buddies? Mm. Mm. Do they know you're a Christian? <laughs> <laughs> Cause they could tell, you know. Say, hey, I thought you was one of them. They told Peter, hey, you're one, you're one of them. He's one of them. He said, no, 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 three mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Jesus told them before that. Mm -hmm. He said, now you're gonna deny it three times, mm -hmm. you know. But but Jesus didn't give up on him, That's and right. he hadn't given up on you either. That's it. So don't you give up on yourself, yeah. and don't let people give you up. That's right. Amen. Don't yeah. let people tell you you're no good, you're nobody, right. you can't do nothing. That's not what the word of God says about yeah. you. He loves you. Amen. He put you here yeah. and put everything in you. You know, I was thinking about this yesterday as I was working. <laughs> but you know, you take a seed, mm -hmm. a seed. I don't care what kind of seed it is. Apple, apple, apple seed. And you see a seed and you see an apple seed. <laughs> but you know, in that apple seed, you put it in the ground. Uh -huh. And in that seed is a tree. Yes. And in that tree, there's many, many apples. That's it. Amen. So guess what? He's put in you. Yeah. Amen. He's put all these in you. Yeah. He's had called you. He's anointed you to do all these things. That's Amen. It. So you're a mighty person for God. Mm -hmm. Going somewhere to happen. Yes. See yourself that way. Amen. Put yourself up high and not low. You know, we, we, we talk about soaring with eagles and not scratching with the chickens. That's you know? it. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to do those things. That's Amen. Right. Yeah. You can have victory. You can have a change of heart. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. So, again, let it shine or put it in the basket is your choice. Mm -hmm. Like it or not, we're on this way. People look at us and expect us to act a certain way. Uh -huh. They expect us to talk a certain way. Mm -hmm. They are watching yeah. how we act. It. It's like a job interview. Yeah. You're on display. They're watching you. Oh, Say, man, God. I thought he was a pastor. <laughs> What's he doing there? Why is he doing that? That's okay. Jesus was on display. And you know what? He never sinned. Yeah. He never cracked. He never gave up. That's it. Amen. He better say, oh, man, I'm just going to do it this one time. You know, and mm. it, it'll, be, it'll be fine just this one time. Mm. No, he never gave in. That's it. Bible says you can do all things through all Christ who so strengthens yeah. you. Lord, I need your strength for this, Lord. Amen. Some of us yeah. have situations where, you know, some of us have never been. Mm. But you can make it through. Amen. Yes. You can make yeah. it through because Christ, Christ is with you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake That's you. It. That's it. Amen. The enemy wants you to think that you're all by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're lonely. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants you. Nobody cares mm -hmm. about you. But he does. Yes. Why would he put his anointing in you? Why would he put a call on your life right. if he didn't care about you? Yes. Why would he put you here if he didn't care about That's you? It. That's it. When you start seeing yourself and seeing yeah. straight and seeing the way he sees, then yes. you say, wait a minute. i got to get this right. Mm -hmm. And Lord, here I am. Use yeah. me. I'm available. Yeah. That's what we got to do. A lot of us need to make ourselves available. Yeah. We make ourselves available to the world. Yes. We make ourselves available to much other things. Mm. But when it comes to Christ, oh, you know, hey, I can't go, Pastor. I'm sorry mm. I couldn't be there because whatever. Mm. <laughs> I've heard many excuses, but mm. he's heard more. Yeah. yeah. Amen. So let's quit making excuses. You know, yeah. he didn't make an excuse to sacrifice, being sacrificed That's right. and giving his life and paying a price he didn't have to pay. Yeah. Amen. So we can do our part. Yes, we can. Yeah, come on now. Amen. Hey, you need help? Just ask him. Lord, I need your help. Mm -hmm. They're watching. Watch your words. Mm -hmm. Guard your mouth. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. just guard your mouth. Make sure you don't say it. Make sure it doesn't come out. Mm -hmm. If it came out, it's because, oh, man, mm -hmm. it slipped. Lord, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But 
Again, Proverbs 18, 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Or you could say the power of the words you speak. Yes. So words are powerful. Mm -hmm. You say, well, hey, I, well, ever since I learned how to talk, I can just speak what I want to. Mm -hmm. Well, you can also have what you want to. Yeah, yeah. You can have all these things yes. also. It goes like this. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it will eat the fruit thereof. That's it. That's you it. are going to eat what you're spitting mm. out. All right now. You are going to eat what you're planting. You're planting. You're sowing seed, mm -hmm. and that seed, a seed, is already uh, made by God mm -hmm. to produce. <laughs> and if you produce, if you you pass it out a negative uh, seed mm -hmm. or bad seed, guess what? Yeah. It's going to grow. Yeah, it will. But it's going to grow to you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to eat it. Mm. Amen. So you be careful. I say, man, I'm going to guard everything I say now. Mm. I only want to say the right things. Mm. Amen. Why don't you bless somebody instead of cursing somebody? Yeah. And sometimes we find it easier to just to curse somebody, speak against somebody, than to bless somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Watch your actions. Imitate him. Again, this is the scripture I was telling you. Mm. Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 in the Amplified. Let's mm. go there. I like this. And make sure you use your Bible and yes, underline I, I, it. I, I, highlight it. Ephesians. Amen. Uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. And look at different translations, okay? I'm going to read it to you from uh, the King James, but I'm also going to read it to you from the, uh, from the uh, uh, Amplified. Okay, here we go. All right. Are you there? Yes. Mine starts off with this. The works of light and darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay? And this is uh, right before uh, verse 1 says, Be ye therefore followers of, of God as dear children. And verse 2 says, Walk in love as Christ also hath loveth us and hath given himself for us mm -hmm. an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Yes. Amen. Now the Amplified goes like this. It says, therefore be imitators of mm -hmm. God. It says, copy him mm -hmm. and follow his example. Amen. Don't tell me. God don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, this is the way I was born mm -hmm. and nobody can change me. Mm -hmm. Well, nobody can change you because you have our own free will and God's not going to violate that. Mm -hmm. He's not going to come against your will. That's it. But when you surrender yourself to him yeah. and say, Lord, I want to be who you want me to be. Yes. I want to copy you. I want to be like you. Yes. Then here's your scripture right here. Amen. Okay. So if nobody ever read it to you, here it is. But yes. get yourself a Bible so you can study for yourself. Amen. Says, therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example. Yes. And no way in his examples does he sin. That's right. That's Amen. Right. It says, as well, beloved children, imitate their father. Verse 2, and walk in love, esteeming and delighting in one another as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, mm -hmm. a slain offering and sacrifice to God for you so that it be, uh, became a sweet fragrance. Amen. So be imitators of God. Amen. And that's on a daily basis, not just, well, you know, when I think about it, or once in a while. No, he says mm -hmm. all the time. All the Jesus time. didn't quit one day and, and then start it the next week or the next month every day, daily, yes. daily, daily that's a word we need to remember mm -hmm. on a daily basis daily, daily. Amen, praise God Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Lord, watch your actions and again, mm -hmm. I just read the scripture to you when we walk in a dark room when I walk into a dark room, I expect my light switch and my lights to come on and work. I expect them to, when I flip the switch, to come on. Yeah. Amen? I said, man, that's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. I get to see better because things are illuminated. Yes. Amen? Things light up. Mm -hmm. And I can see where I am going. Mm -hmm. Amen? Especially if it's night yeah. or it's a real dark room. Yes. God expects the same from us. Matthew 5 14 in the Amplified says, You are the light of, of Christ to the world. Amen. We just read that a few minutes ago. In the Amplified says, You are the light of of Christ to the world. You are. Yeah. 
Amen. So don't say, well, somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always trying to push somebody else. Mm -hmm. You are the light. You yes, are the light Amen. to this world of God, of Christ to the world. We are his lighthouse. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. We are his lighthouse. Yeah. Ooh, man, thank you, Lord. We must shine like the stars in the universe. Mm -hmm. Light expels darkness. Jesus is the light of this world. Yes, he is. But so are we. Because Why? Because we're imitators of him. Yes. Amen. We're imitating him. Mm -hmm. I want to be a light to this yeah. world. Amen. Woo. Yes. Man, Thank praise Lord. God. We used to say, <laughs> we used to say, maybe you didn't, but we used to say, man, they are lit up. <laughs> <laughs> that means, uh, man, they are high <laughs> on drugs or alcohol. Here's another word for, for, for alcohol. <laughs> Booze. <laughs> Liquor, whiskey, moonshine, and here, listen, listen to this word, mm. spirits. Mm. That's what they call this. We're talking about alcohol. Mm. They call it spirits. Mm. Yeah, you can have some spirit, but it ain't gonna be no good spirits. That's it. Because you get high, you get drunk on that stuff, mm. and they gonna be some bad spirits coming out of you. I don't know why they use spirits on there, but yeah, mm. <laughs> believers, believers are lit up with the Most High. The light of the world, amen. the light of life. Amen. That's what we get high. You want to get high? Get yeah. high on Most him. High. Amen. <laughs> Open the Bible. You know why? You can just OD on, on reading the word of God <laughs> and get high on that, man. And you can get a high. You what? You have, you have no side effects. Amen. Man, it's just going to bless you and bless you and bless you. He's going to bless your socks off. You know? <laughs> Praise oh, God. Jesus. Amen. I want to read this to you. From the New uh, Living Translation, Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 16. I already have it here, so if you want to follow, you go ahead, but I typed it here for myself. <clears throat> Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 through 16. It says, Dear friends, you always follow my instructions mm -hmm. when I was with you, and now that I'm away, it is even more important. Mm -hmm. Work hard to show the results of your salvation. Yeah. Obey God with deep reverence and fear. For God is working in you, giving yes. you the desires and the power to do what pleases Him. Yes. Do everything without complaining and arguing. Oh my God. So that no one can criticize you. Yes. Live clean, innocent living as children of God, shining like bright stars. Amen. Excuse me. Shining like bright lights in a world full of crooked and perverse people. Mm. We still got those. Mm -hmm. Hold firmly to the word of life then on the day of christ's return i will be proud that i did not run the race in vain and that my work was not useless That's isn't it amazing hallelujah yeah. man Amen. you can take that man and you can take that to the bank yeah, <laughs> yeah. praise god thank you lord man i want to do all these things so we are his light yeah. ephesians 5 13 new living yeah. translation says but everything exposed by the light becomes visible. Mm. And everything that is illuminated becomes light. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I want to just be his light. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Amen. <clears throat> this dark world needs light. We live in a world that does not care about Jesus. That's Do it. you know that? That's it. Have you experienced that? Or are you, are, are, are you hiding in the crowd? Mm. Hmm? As your light shine, if your light's not shining, mm -hmm. you can probably hide in the crowd real easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. <laughs> yeah. It is a world that makes fun of Christians, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it needs us. Yes. You know what? Yes, our family, no, our families, our friends, you know, they talk about you. Yeah. They tell you things about other people, mm -hmm. and when they leave you, they talk about you they to don't. other people. <laughs> but you know what? And they'll talk about you, but when they need prayer, oh, They'll come running to you, mm. or they'll call you. Make sure they get a hold of you. Mm. Say, man, we need, we need prayer. Mm. You know? They don't say, I've been talking about you, <laughs> but guess what? I need prayer now. No, they just say, man, I need, yeah. I need prayer. Yeah. I need prayer, and they won't go tell their friends, you know, hey, I had to go see brother, sister, so and so <laughs> because they prayed for me. No, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, they, they, they gotta back up all the negative stuff they can put out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be a very comfortable position to be, but we or I play an important role in this world yeah. by serving 
and imitating my yes. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Serving Him yes. and imitating yes. Him. Thank you. That's my part. And that should be your part. Amen. Amen. If you're not being you this thing, you know what? It's time for you to accept Him as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. well, it's time for you to confess, repent, and come to Christ. Yes. And say, He's going to forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is you need to forgive and forget yourself. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Or anybody else you're holding unforgiveness to. Yes. But you got to confess it and let it go. Yeah. Because the enemy and people are going to bring it back to you. Right. And it's going to be there. The battlefield of yes. the mind, mind, you know, it's going to be there over and over and over. And it's going to repeat just like a little uh, hamster on a, on a wheel, you know. Mm -hmm. Same thing is going to happen mm -hmm. always, always, always. Until you say, stop. Yeah. I've confessed. He's forgiven me. I'm not going there anymore. Mm -hmm. We're going to press on. Yeah. We're pressing on. Amen. Yeah. Let's let's press on. Let's move on. The opportunity to shine brighter is greater today than ever. Mm -hmm. Jesus now more than ever. Man, that's a beautiful song. Yes. Hopefully one day we'll get to sing it. But Jesus now more than ever. Man, awesome. Now. Jesus now more than ever. Yes. The world needs this Jesus now more than ever before. Amen. Woo, come on. We are to be examples to the world of high Christian living. Mm. We are living epistles. We are living books of mm. Christ in the world. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to say who, who I am and whose I am and who I belong to. The source of light is the sun. Nearly all the lights that fill the world is reflected from a million objects mm -hmm. all around us yeah. and does not stream down directly from the sun in the same way jesus is our, our supreme source the son of righteousness his light is reflected upon the world from the millions of believers yeah. it shines through us yeah. remember he's the head and we're the body mm -hmm. and he's going to shine through you mm -hmm. are you going to let him shine mm -hmm. are you going to let that the light of you shine brighter for jesus or are you yes. just going to keep it under the basket mm -hmm. That's your choice, amen. You gotta, you you have to answer to him about yes. this, amen. Yes. <laughs> no, I better not go there. <laughs> amen. Praise God. So it reflects on us, millions of believers, mm -hmm. whom He has enlightened and blessed by His Spirit. Jesus is the light of the world. We are His light. Our light comes from Him, mm -hmm. amen. amen. Praise God. Jesus is our power source. He's our yes. power supply. And yes. we each light up our own corners and darkness from His light. Amen. If there's any darkness in you, <laughs> let the light of Jesus just light it up. Amen. Amen. Just get it out of you. Confess it and know mm -hmm. that He is there for you. He wants yeah. to use you. Amen. Yeah. So let's pray and thank God. Pray. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Our duty is to let the light of God shine through us mm -hmm. and not hide it under the basket. That's it. Amen. There's two ways of spreading light. Mm -hmm. And that be from a candle and then another one be uh, uh, the mirror and reflect it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let that reflect from me, from him to you. Amen. From me, from him to me. Amen. And it's going to reflect on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to let it shine. Amen. But we need to be obedient. We need to be obedient and we must obey. He took the form of a servant even unto death. You know, mm -hmm. the Bible says he came to serve, yes. not to be served. That's right. That's Amen. Right. So he submitted himself. Yes. He and, he, and he came as a servant. Amen. So praise God. And we, meet, we must begin to take our salvation seriously. Yes. Let me read to you this in Philippians uh, chapter 2, verse 12. It says, Therefore, my dear brothers, my dear friends, as you have all always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence. Continue to work out your salvation with fears and trembling. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. So this signifies working thoroughly at the things, being diligent. Being diligent. Mm -hmm. If salvation is lost, all is lost. Yeah. This is the supreme work of men. What shall it profit a man? If it gains the whole world mm -hmm. and loses mm -hmm. his soul. Mm -hmm. Amen. No. Mm -hmm. When it doesn't make sense, do it and stay 
and be obedient. That's Amen. It. Do it unto him, Amen. but be obedient. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Even uh, when there's no one to check up on you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you still must obey. Amen. And you know, a lot of times I've told you this many times, and I'm not bragging on myself, I'm bragging on my God. Amen. You know, I was here all day yesterday, well, most of the day yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> working, cleaning in the church, and cleaning out in mm -hmm. uh, the, the yard. And uh, it was, it was a, a good time. Amen. But I say, Lord, when your flesh tries to get in the way, all you need to do is just say, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. You're going to be here. I invite you to be here. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be here. Mm -hmm. And I want my place to, to look as good as anything else. Yes. Because my Jesus is going to be here. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need to have, catch the same attitude. Yes. yes. You need to clean this up because my Jesus is going to be mm -hmm. here. Amen. So, like I said, I'm not bragging on me. I'm bragging on my God. Yes, thank but you. But if I wanted to be in the flesh, Amen. <laughs> if, I, if I was going to let the flesh come in, I would have said, hey, nobody's here to help me. Forget it. <laughs> you know, if they want a dirty house, forget it. I mean, so be it. <laughs> but I don't see it that way. Mm -hmm. I see it. My Jesus is going to be here. Yeah. And Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Thank and you know what? He, sometimes he calls us to clean up <laughs> some dirty folks out there oh. that you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> and speak to people that you don't care for. Oh, boy. And we got to do it. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Mm -hmm. And I got to see him with his love and his compassion. Yes. Amen. And if you don't see him with his love and his compassion, your flesh is going to get in the way every mm -hmm. time. And it's going to say, I quit. You know, forget it. Man, these people are hateful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they hated him and, and yeah. treated him worse than they'll yeah. ever treat you. That's and he it. never gave up. That's it. He didn't give up. He kept Amen. on pressing until the end when he told Father, forgive him. We can do the same thing. Yes, Lord, I'm yeah. doing this unto you. Woo. Come on now. Did I lose you somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 37 and 6 says, He will make his he will make your righteousness shine uh -huh. like the dawn. The uh, the just of your cause like the noonday sun. Mm. A holy lifestyle will be proven right in the end. We should desire to do the right thing. Woo, come yeah. on now. <laughs> yeah. Nehemiah 8 then says this. In the, in, the, in the latter part of the verse. and It says in New Living Translation. It says, do not be dejected and sad. For the joy of the Lord yeah. is Lord your strength. strength. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. You know, if you're going to let the world take you down. Don't. He says, hey, yeah, you know what? Don't be dejected. Don't be sad. Just let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Lord, Amen. I'm doing this unto you. Thank you that you're with me. Thank you that you never leave me no for right, second. Right, it's good right. for you to have the word because Amen. once you know the word, it'll start coming out of you. Yes. And I'm going to stir myself up. Amen. Amen. And let the word come out of me. Yes. The right yes. things, not the negative things. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we magnify the problem more than we magnify our God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we don't know the word. Why don't you know the word? Because I haven't studied to show myself approved. Come mm -hmm. on now. Get it in you so it can Amen. come out of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Second, uh, Philippians 2.14 says, Do everything without... I'm going to read it Remember to you from uh, New New Living Translation in the King yes. James. The King James says, Do everything without murmuring and disputing. Mm. The Living Translation says this, Do everything without complaining and mm. arguing. Yeah. Man, we got lots of mm. uh, complaining and arguing champions out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why I'm right, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how it should be done. Uh -huh. And they're always right, and you're always wrong, you know. So let's, let's remember this. Do it without murmuring and, and complaining. complaining. Yeah. <laughs> Let me read this to you. I got a little illustration here that I want to read to you, but... <clears throat> Just kind of bear with me. We, we're almost done. There's a trader in India once asked a missionary, what do you put on your face to make it shine? With surprise, the man of God answered, I don't put anything on it. The, the questioner began to lose his patience and emphatically says, yes, you do. All of you believers in Christ uh, seem to have it. I've seen it. It's different. In different towns I've been in. 
It says, suddenly the Christian understood. And his face glowed even more as he said, <laughs> now I know what you mean. And I will tell you the secret. It's not something we put on from the outside. It's something that comes out from the inside. It is a reflection of the light of God in our hearts. Man. Come on now. <laughs> joy, uh, joy shows on our on our faces. Yes. I'm telling you this many times. Joy will show. <laughs> mm -hmm. You either turn people on, you gonna turn them off. Yes, yes. <laughs> don't, don't be don't be a pretender. No. He told, tells us to be imitators. Mm -hmm. Amen. And participators. Yes. Amen. So joy shows our face. It shows that we love the Master yes. that we serve. Obedience will be willing and cheerful. Mm -hmm. The world sees this. Too many of us like being Christians. Too many of us like being a Christian. It's like a gray cloud that follows us around. Mm -hmm. Life is too hard. Nobody loves us. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. They are never happy about anything. Oh boy. About any situation. Mm -hmm. And they have too many excuses. And they murmur the same word used about the Israelis in the Old Testament and kept them from God's yeah. blessings. It yeah. kept them from the promised land. Yes. The promised land that God had already promised mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. But their murmuring and their complaining mm -hmm. kept them out. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> murmuring and complaining is your way to bring more unwanted events into your life. Yeah. It represents a discontent soul mm. the world is looking at the church if we are complaining and arguing we are telling them that we do not have the answer yeah amen come on now get it get, catch it in your spirit amen mm -hmm. <clears throat> the ability to forgive mm -hmm. is viewed by the world it is a direct reflection of the father yeah. when you forgive you are doing the thing that looks more like Christ. Mm -hmm. We are forgiven. The Bible teaches that we are to forgive and forget. Yeah. Furthermore, we must forgive in order that we ourselves are forgiven. Yes. And, yes. Uh, Matthew 6, 12 through 14, I'll read this to you. It says, <laughs> Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, mm -hmm. but deliver us from evil, mm -hmm. from every evil one. Mm -hmm. For if you forgive men when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Yeah. Don't overlook this as you work out your salvation. Mm -hmm. Your light will be obvious. Mm -hmm. Your light will shine. You will not be able to hide it. One candle in the dark room can show your way. Mm -hmm. Amen. And in closing... Everybody amen. said, Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, our text, Matthew 5, 14 through 16 says, You are the light of the world. Amen. And you are the light of Christ in the world amen. or to the world. Uh, a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do uh, people, uh, people light a, a lamp and put it under a, a bowl or a basket. Mm -hmm. Instead, they put it on a stand and gives light to everyone in the house. Amen. In the same way, let your light shine before men, yes. and they will see your good deeds mm -hmm. and praise your Father in heaven. Amen. People or world is watching you. Your co-workers, yes. your family, your church is watching you. Watch your Amen. words, watch your actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. It takes a spark to get a fire going, yeah. but don't let your fire go out. Amen. Don't let your light go out. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Daniel Last scripture is Daniel. I'm going to read it to you from three translations here. In the Amplified, it says Daniel 12, chapter uh, chapter 12, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Those who are spiritually wise will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse, uh, expanse of heaven. And those who lead many uh, to righteousness will shine like stars forever and ever. The Living Translation says those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky Amen. or the heavens. And those who lead many to righteousness will shine like stars forever. Yeah. And the easy to read version, Daniel 12, uh, 12, 3. The wise people will shine as bright as the sky. Those who teach others to live right will shine like stars forever and 
Amen. 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 So praise God. Don't let your light out. Don't let your light dim. <laughs> let your light shine for Jesus. Yes. Stay, stay charged up. Yes. Keep, keep the flame going. Yes. Shining, keep it shining for Jesus. So Amen. let your light shine for Jesus praise daily. God. You. Let your light shine for Jesus always. Yes. Amen. In Jesus' name, Father, we just thank you. I hope you got something. Thank you for your precious word, Lord. Help us, Lord, to take this message that you've given us, Lord, and apply it to our lives, Lord. Let us be the light of this world, Father God, too. Your people be a reflection of you to this world, Father God, this lost, this dark world. In Jesus' precious name, amen. amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If, you know, we want to give you an opportunity, if you never asked Christ in your life, now is the time, you know. Let him be your light. Amen. Let him uh, be there for you. Amen. So praise God. If you never ask him, now's the time. It's never too late. All you need to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And you start living for him. You start going to a church that teaches the word of God. Amen. And you get you a Bible and start reading for yourself. So the word of God can get in you and Amen. it'll start coming out of you. Amen. And no longer is the devil going to have you on the run, but you're going to put the devil on the run. Submit yourself to God, resist him, and he's going to flee from you. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, but you got to get that word in you. Amen. Yes. Let him be your Lord and Savior now this day. From this day on in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, just remember that by Jesus stripes you're healed. Mm -hmm. And this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, it is. So, Father, we don't accept no malfunctions in this body. We receive our healing, sir. Yes. Yeah? And we want everything, everything to, to, to function the way you created it to function. Yes. In Jesus' Lord. precious name, thank you, Lord. And uh, we receive no malfunctions in this body. That's right. Amen yeah. and amen. Woo, praise God. So it's time to give. Those of you watching, listening, would like to give. Uh, woo, let me give you the... Uh, the website is NBCBigBen.com, and you just hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, it's NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. God loves you, and we love you, and let your life shine for Jesus. Amen. God bless you.